I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be doing something that I've never done before, and that is tuning my BMW. We will be tuning my BMW F10 using MHD flasher. I've never tuned a car before. I saw Matt tune his car. We kind of did it together, but I've never actually tuned one of my own vehicles. So that is what we are doing today using MHD flasher, and we are going to be using this wireless Enet cable from mod BMW will be flashing my car with stage one I do have a front mount intercooler and an intake so I could I think do stage two I'm not too sure on all the specifications I know I'm gonna get around 360 horsepower but I'm not too sure on all the specifications of what is required I know I will not be doing stage two I think I'm gonna keep it with stage one today even if my car would be able to handle it based off the mods but I'll put up the spec sheet for everything that you get with this motor but I will be doing a screen sharing showing you guys everything I'm doing on my phone but let's go outside, check the battery tender, make sure we're all set up, and begin the tuning. So I have the battery tender all hooked up, as you can see, and I have it running down here. Here's the battery tender that I'm using. It is quite small, but should be enough to do the job. All right, so I'm going to switch over to screen sharing right now, and you guys will be able to see what's going on on my phone. All right, so we're inside of the MHD app. We're already connected, and we are going to, you're going to go to flash a map. It's going to connect to the DME. We're gonna pick our fuel, we're gonna pick our transmission. So we have the eight speed automatic. We're gonna click stage one and we're gonna click 93 octane since that's what we have. And then it's gonna to connect to the DME. It's gonna read the information. We're gonna make sure it's in airplane mode. Wi-Fi is still connected. We're gonna go under options and we want to apply linear throttle mapping because right now the car doesn't have linear throttle mapping. Basically, it gives you a false sense of torque. So I think it's like 40% of the throttle leads to 80. So we're gonna kind of make it more linear and everything's gonna be more consistent to how much I push in the throttle to the percentage of the throttle to how much torque I'm getting. We do have the OEM catted downpipe. We are not going to remove the top limiter at the moment we are going to add a little bit of exhaust burble oem style sure we'll leave how it we'll leave how it is startup roar that all looks good that all looks good target stock all that looks good all right we are going to write it um, i do a battery tender on and we are good so let's do a long write contact dme we're connected and it says it's preparing the map and it's flashing should be a super quick flash with this like i mentioned so I'll cut the camera and we'll fast forward for this and I'll get back when it's done. All right guys, so the car is tuned. The tune just finished. I'll put a screenshot of how long it took. It took two minutes and 37 seconds, which is insane. All done wirelessly through the mod BMW Enet cable. I'll have them linked down below. You guys know that I have that mod adapter in my BMW 46 to allow for all the onboard computer stuff. And I have the mod light from mod BMW and I absolutely love their products. Their products are great, but Back to the video about tuning. I haven't driven the car yet. I need to take the car out for a drive. So we're currently out for a drive after tuning with MHD stage one tune running 93 octane. And guys, I absolutely love it. First impressions, I will say while driving, the linear throttle mapping is super nice. It really helps with just daily driving the car too with having the linear throttle mapping because usually when I, I wouldn't, necessarily understand the pedal i mean i was getting used to it but what would happen is i'd go too far in the pedal because i'd want to speed up a little and the turbo would spool and the thing would knock you back in your seat which i didn't necessarily want but now having the linear throttle mapping to get on it you really need to push down into it which is super nice at least for me i think this is probably one of the coolest things about it and man this thing just pulls like a freight train it is super super quick i mean it's crazy just what stage one can do on the N55 motor. And I'm sure on the N54, it's even crazier in the B58, but it's surprisingly really nice to have this tune. It doesn't feel like the car's not meant for it. It feels great. The car feels great, but we'll see. The other thing is the burbles. Let's see if you can hear it. I rolled out my window. So my burbles are nothing too aggressive. They're just kind of um, OEM style. And the reason for that is just because I do have cats, or one cat, sorry, I, I don't want to ruin the catalytic converter and also my turbo, it's not the best thing for your turbo. So that's kind of why I have it set like that. But 
once I get back, I'll give you guys my full impressions, but so far, the drive's been awesome. All right, so I want to give you guys my final thoughts on the MHD Stage 1 tune. I've been driving my car with a tune for like probably a week and a half, maybe two weeks, and so far, absolutely loving it. Biggest thing about this tune that I love is the linear throttle mapping. It is so much better for daily driving a car. If I want to get on the car, foot to the floor and I'm on it. As before, I'd only have to put like 40% in and it would just snap you back. And I didn't like that. That wasn't good for daily driving. At least for me, I feel like the linear throttle mapping is so much nicer just driving around. And I did, you guys saw me enable the burbles, which I love. I did tweak those a little bit. I made them, I left them OE, OEM style. I don't want them too loud. It's not the best thing for your turbos and your catalytic converter. So I did kind of changed those up made them shorter and I really like one thing that I didn't know that I could do is you have two different verbal settings one is for base and I think the other one is sport I think it says regardless all that does is if the car is in comfort mode or eco mode you can have no burbles and then in sport mode and sport plus you can have as much burbles as you want that's super nice i really really like that and you can really hear the burbles with my valvetronic exhaust which is essentially a muffler delete it sounds so good even just the OE st oem style i did put it on aggressive and holy crap that sounds like gunshots not for me but it was super cool and i really like the way it sound but not for me at the moment i like having the oem style and i like having it only burble in sport mode super nice as far as the power oh it it's insane it is like getting kicked in the ass it is super fast especially with the n55 people say you can't put out that much power it's plenty fast i feel like stage one is perfect for a daily driver maybe we'll go stage two eventually but i'm super happy with stage one i want to stay here and experience it and i just upgraded my spark plugs too if you guys were wondering to one step colder spark plugs which is recommended when tuning a car and especially i'm tuning a car i should just be putting new spark plugs in the car has over 50,000 miles so it's definitely due for spark plugs and yeah i did that and so far loving the tune i was always a little skeptical about a tune i'm like is it really going to be better than bmw's tune and honestly it is especially with the linear throttle mapping it's so much better driving this car if you guys have not tuned your bmw i highly suggest tuning your bmw with mhd if they if your bmw supports mhd it's super simple to flash super quick you guys saw how quick it did the initial flash was like four minutes I believe I forget I forget the exact time but something ridiculous under five minutes and now to reflash new maps or add stuff it's literally like 15 seconds with the mod BMW adapter that you guys saw me flash the car with super quick so I recommend buying that I'll have that link down below as well as the link to MHD but one more thing that I did want to mention with this tune is um, I, you probably saw earlier I showed in the beginning that it updates your iDrive for how much power you have inside the iDrive system when you see your your horsepower and torque that's even updated so it reflects how much horsepower the car has it's just insane the things that they are doing is insane so far so good super happy with the tune and reliability it's been great nothing's happened all i said is change spark plugs if you're going to tune your car highly recommend it and you'll be fine it's super awesome having this tune i can't believe i didn't do this sooner I and mean, obviously i haven't had the car too long but i was just getting used to the first power of having a higher horsepower car and then smacking on tune it's it's just wonderful but if you guys have any questions drop them in the comments down below i'll have mhd link down below um if you guys want to pick it up i'll have the adapter link down below which i absolutely suggest if you guys have a f or g series bmw just because it supports so many applications i absolutely love it way better than any of the bluetooth ones for coding and stuff like that it's so much quicker so and you saw how quick it flashed the car and standard enet cable would have been a little slower so that is all i have for this video if you guys have any questions like i mentioned drop in the comments below and i'll catch you guys in the next one also don't forget to subscribe hit that thumbs up button and consider using my amazon ecs affiliate link down below as i get a small kickback that goes right back into the channel so i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out